Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, why do I still miss my ex while I'm in a new relationship? Are you secretly pining for your ex while you're with somebody new? This can happen when you don't have closure in your past relationship, or maybe there's something missing in your new relationship or you just didn't give yourself enough time for your heart to heal. People move on very quickly these days from one relationship to the next. Sometimes the opportunity's just there, so you take it, and why not? Why wouldn't you if somebody comes into your life and you're attracted to them? The big problem here is that your heart is just not ready to receive somebody else in. It's still dealing with the, the breakup of what transpired not that long ago. And so if you don't have closure, if you don't take the time to understand your part in why your relationship ended, or you haven't had them talking to you about it and you've been trying to figure out what transpired, why did it end? You're going to always have this feeling of being stuck. What if? What if we did this? Why didn't this work? And so you take all that into a new partnership. And sadly, this is difficult, obviously, for the person that you're with now. Because they don't know, they're not understanding that you're really thinking about somebody else while you're with them. But after a while, they will start to feel it. And this is why it's really important to try and find a way to make the closure happen for you. Maybe you can contact your ex partner and say to them, look, I'm really having trouble moving on here. Can we get together for a cup of coffee? Sit down and tell your partner that you're with now. You know, I'm really feeling a bit of a situation going on right now. I don't know what's happening to me, why I can't completely, you know, close my mind to my ex relationship. I think I need to have a chat with them about things. And at least if you're being open and honest to your new partner, they know where they stand. They may not like it. They're going to be maybe pissed off. Why didn't you figure this out before you came into a relationship with me? But they might also be really understanding. At the very least, you're being honest with them. You're not doing something behind their back. Quite often what happens when we enter a new relationship, we think we're ready. And that's no, no fault of anybody's other than you just really think you're ready. And then you start out this relationship and memories start coming back the longer you're in this new partnership with somebody. Maybe they don't do something that you really liked that your ex-partner did. Maybe you don't have the same similarities in certain areas and you miss that with your ex. This is what usually happens, and it doesn't happen right away. Sometimes it takes a few months for this to transpire. Well, by then your new partner's already invested, and they think you are too, but all of a sudden all this stuff is coming to the surface of what you might not have dealt with. When your past continually haunts your presence, you're not ready to be in a new relationship. You have to get to the point where you don't think about your ex all the time. And you're certainly not comparing them when you're with somebody that you're now dating. Now you're in a new relationship with. Because that's not fair on your partner. Because they don't know what's going on. But they can start to feel your absence. Because you're not putting the energy in that maybe you did in the first month or two with them. All of a sudden you're pulling back. If you can't talk to your ex, it's still really important to understand the attachment that you have to them. Maybe it's not necessarily to them. Maybe it's to what you had as a couple. Maybe it's the home you lived in. Maybe it's the city you lived in. Maybe it's the friendships that you had together and you're no longer in those friendships. There's a lot of things that can make you miss your ex. But you have to understand, is it them I'm missing? Is it my ego that's taking a hit right now because I'm no longer with them, they've moved on? You've moved on too. 
If you are meant to be with somebody, you will be with them or find your way back to them. Maybe there's something that both of you and your ex didn't have closure about. Maybe there's something that is salvageable between you. And maybe that's why the feelings are so strong. That's why you have to go and talk to them if you can. That's the problem with a lot of people who jump from one situation to the next. They don't give time to the emotional downfall of what transpired with their ex. And they take all that baggage into a new relationship. And then they become more and more confused, but you're also confusing other people along the way because they think you're in it with them because you're committed to them. They would rather that you do that so they, they can get a whole person moving forward. Right now, they've only got part of you and that's not okay. Sometimes they may suggest, well, go find yourself and you know, we'll talk when you figure it out. If I'm still here, I'm here. If I'm not, I'm not. You might have to take the chance that they'll be gone, but at least then you're giving them the option of what they want to do as well. It's not fair for them to sit around and wait for you to fall in love with them when your heart is still somewhere else. If you are able to have a conversation with your ex, just please make sure that you're both really over the relationship. And if you're not, one of you is and one of you isn't, just talk about, be gentle with each other and say, you know, honestly, but gentle, why it didn't work, what was missing for them. Maybe what's missing for you. You'll have so much more clarity. But if there's any questions, big questions that are still on the table, you're not going to move forward for a very long time. It's always, always a good idea to take time to identify what transpired in your last relationship, what you could do better, what maybe you did really well and it just didn't work with your partner so that when you move forward with somebody else, you're clear. You don't have all this bubbling emotional drama left inside of you because you've actually taken the time to get rid of it, to understand why it happened. Jumping in too quickly to a new relationship after a recent breakup does not allow your heart and does not allow your mind to really process what actually transpired. Only time and self-evaluation will help you move forward. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please subscribe to Dear Cyber Sue if you haven't already done so. Please click, click like and leave any comments you have. I always love hearing from you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.